Good morning and welcome to this video review. Uh, now what I have here uh, for this video is a Seiko. A Seiko. This is a Seiko Kutura range uh, watch. It is a, a solar uh, perpetual calendar alarm chronograph. Uh, the model number SSC377. I really, I quite like how they keep their model numbers uh, nice and short uh, in Seiko, or at least for this range. Uh, the MSRP for this watch is 525 US, uh, but as of now, you can get it around around the 350 mark uh, US in various outlets, uh, online sites. Um, the movement we have on this watch is the caliber. V198, which is used in a, a few of their models. Um, it is a solar powered uh, uh, caliber with six months reserve, a power reserve indicator. Uh, and I'll, I'll just briefly show you how to use the power reserve and the perpetual calendar, meaning that you never have to set the date as long as you keep the watch running with uh, some amount of light exposure every day. There is no need for a battery change, of course. It is a solar powered watch. Um, so I'm gonna uh, basically go through the the uh, display here. So right now, the way to read the perpetual calendar, you can see the day uh, on the top dial there, which is Monday. Uh, the date is the central small hand, which right now as you can see is pointing to five so it is this the fifth and to read the months you have to um, either know it or you have to go through the, the changes so with this button now we have the power reserve so you can see the top dial there it's gone to uh, the power reserve position which is full at the moment uh, and that's back to Monday the 5th of December Not quite doing this right, but let me just get you the other motions. Okay, so now pressing the A button, I've got uh, I've changed the top dial there to M, and that's the month. And right now the second, the central small hand has gone to twelve, so it is uh, the fifth of December. And to get uh, the leap year position, you press it again. Sorry, I'm pressing the wrong button here. Okay, so month, again December, L for leap year position, which to, this is 2016, so it is it is a leap year, so it's gone to the zero position, that central small hand, meaning that we are zero years after a leap year. And I'm going to change it back to the, to the base uh, chronograph uh, position now. Okay, and let it uh, turn back. Now, um, uh, it has also a chronograph with a one-fifth second uh, display. So yes, if you can see the seconds uh, divisions or the minute divisions in between each division uh, is four little marks. So that uh, denotes uh, uh, in a one-fifth of a second for each of the chronograph uh, uh, second counts. Uh, so I'll just show you how to use the chronograph now. now. Uh, right now it's in chronograph mode. You can see that bottom 24 hour dial is zero. Uh, and to start the chronograph, I, I, I used the, the A button. So there we go, it's counting. Uh, and it, 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 it's a 24 hour chronograph. That, that dial at the bottom there will display minutes and 24 hours, which is, uh, I guess, uh, different to many other chronographs, which uh, typically display 12 hours or even shorter in some versions. Okay, so I'm just going to stop it and reset it. Right, I'm bringing it, bringing it back to the default display, which is date with a 24 hour time at the bottom. You can set that at a dual time, uh, so a second time zone. At the moment, I've just set it to exactly the same time as the main minute and hour hands there. Uh, it also has an alarm function. Uh, it's, <laughs> you know, it's a quartz watch, so you can really pack in the features with electronics rather than uh, uh, mechanical. Uh, so to set the alarm, I'll just demonstrate. You pull out, pull the crown to one position here, and I'm going to set the alarm with. 
okay I'll just set it two minutes into the future uh, so that when it goes off you know you can just show it on the video how it sounds like um, okay so that that's that's the main functions here of the watch perpetual calendar chronograph alarm jewel time uh, now the case over here as you can see already is in uh, PVD black iron plated steel uh, it is 44 millimeter case uh, at 12 millimeters stick so you know you you can get decent uh, uh, profiles with quartz movements uh, it does have a screw in case back uh, I'll just open the deployment there um, as you can see there right but it's but it doesn't have uh, a screw in crown it's got a cabochon uh, on the crown which is a nice little touch you know that that, that polished stone there uh, but it's not a screw in crown if you saw me pull it out uh, and it's got this precious and so um, you know it's rated at 100 meters water resistance meaning oh, and there we go let's see alarm not particularly loud and I, I mostly sleep through it whenever I try to use it so I rely on another alarm so 100 meters water resistant which means that I would use this uh, certainly for swimming surface sports but I wouldn't use it for for deeper activities you know any kind of deep uh, snorkeling or, or certainly not for diving um, all right um, so where are we up to the bracelet again black iron painted but it's it's integrated as you can see it's got these integrated lugs so there's no way really to to change it out for you know the typical alternatives um, and it's got a press metal uh, deployment uh, with push button uh, and a small you know really quite a small uh, uh, indicator of where the class releases the rest of it is bracelet links as you can see there um, why did I choose this watch now I, I got this watch uh, about a year ago now when I was just getting into uh, the whole uh, 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 world of horology the whole community um, I didn't know that much, but I did know that Seiko had some respectability. So the main thing that first steered me was the brand. I didn't want to spend too much. Uh, so I steered towards Seiko. You know, as I grew up in my family, we always had a Seiko around. We also almost always had Casios around. But even as a young child, we kind of knew that, well, you know, the, the more expensive watches uh, were the Seikos. Uh, and Seiko has been around, you know, with sponsors and many various uh, things internationally. So they're, they're a known brand. Um, the, the, the thing that pulled me towards this watch was the design. It, it had a very modern look. It had a different look with the, this very dark, well, the, you know, black really PVD. Uh, and, and it had this very interesting, different, uh, you know, bracelet uh, design which is integrated it's got almost a techno organic look to it uh, and it's not like any other watch I have you know in in, in any uh, I guess of my family's collections or ownership this this nothing else looks like this um, I like the dial design you know the contrast in the colors the layering you can see you know each of the dials has its own texture and depth um, you know, and, and, and they were different, you know, all the dials have different colors, uh, different sizes, which I kind of took to. I like the functions, you know, I already went through it. There's heaps of functions packed into this, uh, you know, this, this watch with, which operates really with one crown and two pushes. Um, what's not so good I found about this over time? Well, I think the main thing is that it, I'm not really sure what it's trying to be. Um, uh, you know, it, it, it there's some places have listed it as a dress watch. I think Amazon does uh, on on Seiko's uh, official websites. I think one of them says it's like a sports everyday watch. I don't really know what it's trying to be. You know, the name of the series, Kutura, presumably uh, is referring to fashion. Or, you know, Kutura, uh, you know, as a allusion to couture, which is cut or fashion. But it's not really a dress watch. You're not really going to pass this off as a dress watch. It's too, too busy. Uh, it, it's it's a bracelet. It's not a band. It's it's PVD. 
So I guess it's more towards a sporty watch, but you know, you look at the design, the skeletonized arrow hands, maybe it's trying to be a fashion watch. It's got minimal loom only on the, the central hands and a, a small 12 o'clock uh, dot there, uh, which, which, you know, again, harkens towards uh, dressiness rather than uh, sports functionality. You know, a sports watch, you might think they loom up every single uh, of those applied uh, our indices but but they don't those are just nice polished steel there's no loom on them so you know I really I think one of the weaknesses is or one of the things I've I've come to note is that I'm not, I'm not sure what it's trying to be um, you know another thing is the integrated bracelet meaning you can't change it out but I, I, I do I do like that look so I don't mind that too much but some people you know that would be something that they uh, I guess note and maybe put them off um, and the other big thing I would say is is the date. It's it's difficult to read. It's hard to use. It's not that practical. Sometimes I need to squint and rotate my hand a bit. Uh, so it's not the friendliest uh, date composition. I much rather prefer a date wheel uh, and and leave the central hand for other functions, particularly. Uh, as if you don't use that for the date, you can put an internal tachymeter there. And I, I think that would be uh, much preferred for myself. Um, so I'll just do a brief wrist shots. I'm sorry I haven't uh, done many wrist shots on my watches. I really should. But, you know, I think for 44, it's big. But because it's only 12 millimeters, it sits quite nicely on my, my own wrist. Um, so there we have it. I uh, hope that's been enjoyable. Um, you know, look at... Uh, another different brand uh, and a model uh, which is not so well known there's no specific reviews on this particular model on the on youtube as i have checked uh, so it's not that well known but it is from a very uh, strong brand a brand that has international history and recognition so there we have it i uh, hope you guys enjoyed that video uh, give us a uh, subscribe if you've uh, liked my videos and want to watch more and check out the other playlists Cheers, see you next time.